part of this video goes out to Charles. Charles, uh, not this image, but Charles presented us with two other, three other images. Well, let's just grab them here. So right by this lady here, and a 2014 proximity image, we zoom in, we see a crack. It's about the 14th tile in, and it's an open crack in its capacity. Let's go to um, this lines up with the, well, there's your palm trees, and there's a camera, of course. Um, small palm trees don't need a damn human lift to go around grabbing that. All right, go back one more so there's a crack by her leg. And then this is this is the one that I showed you before. Ah, great. So that's not going to be very useful because I can't move the magnet. I don't think it'll let me reposition that. Let me see. Yeah, it's catching hell just for repositioning the photo itself. Okay. So the uh, I'll just grab another one. Right around that line, that plane there, it comes right back to here. That will be your L, KLM, your M token. And if we pull down here in the corner, there's another crack like that. Now it's staggered by, I think, one tile over, and it's in that direction. So there are two tiles in that direction. The, this is tw these are 2014, thereabouts. So now the box, the uh, planter boxes, uh, the uh, things are down, and it's from the cameras there. But the um, whatever that is gone is gone. But clearly, you see the deck do a rotation backwards. Remember the other video? I said, "Hey, look at this thing going down." Well, clearly, you see it going down there. Back here, you know, confirmation bias. I'll do it this way. I'll, I'll just do that, and you guys tell me what do you see? What do you observe? Specifically in the floor area here, what do you, what do you observe? <clears throat> it does not appear to be continuous. Let's do this again. Magnifier. Okay, so what do you observe there? As I slide down and move over. Now there, the other crack would be up here. Let's see, so somewhere about, somewhere about here. Tried my pixelation technique. Um, could not get it. The, the data is not inside this image. Uh, inside this image is the, the top of the box. The bottom of the box having that little existing um, whatever we're looking at there. That existing issues, if you will. Uh, cement paste, parging, something of that nature around that nature. Okay, next one. Um, don't see. So again, this is the lady in the pool deck. Let's open this. Oops, that works for me. Magnifier. So on her belly, let's move it. And there it is. There's the crack. So the crack is right there. It's an open crack. It's a tension crack. Not like somebody dropped it, dropped it on there and just shattered the tile. You drop it on there, it goes, it shatters the tile. Or it smashes to the hammer. It looks like a, a spider crack going this way. You know, out, punching out every which way. This is a tension crack going parallel with this crack that's back there. The other one I showed you. Now let's slide this one up. This one is photo. Is, was the red the uh, red paint was indicator for the person to to uh, take the exploratory on it. Now I don't know if this is permanent red marker or not. If it is, it shows the intent was never to put it back. But look at that crack again. Another tension crack. And if I zoom in, um, you'll see that there's red paint inside the crack, which means that the crack was there first. And then they sprayed it, so it wasn't done by them hammering, and then the crack developed because then you would see white across here, or you would see the tile. That you would see this tile look that darker color that's been filled in. Now, right in front of you, right in front of you are gaps, 
grout meshing possibly or see the grout right there or again another uh, attention going on with this deck separating the grout and boom, right there right down this path here see those cracks there that's all open now remember like a control joint in a deck when you're doing concrete you, you, you recess it well these are mini control joints look at that look at that fracture all the way down here the box is covering it the box is covering hey golly let me call you back and just give me give me like 10 minutes buddy 10 minutes thank 10 minutes thanks so the the, the the bag is covering it but that's open that's our control joint exposed if you will revealed um, that biasly so goes right along our M, I believe it is, right along our line M, right where he did his core sample. Um, there's a fracture there going back to possibly the BMA. And so this is the data I wanted to throw up here for you real quickly. I need, and I also to do requests, please find me some current images. This The, the images with the lady was 2014, and I don't know what other dates, but we need some current images. Yes, uh, someone sent me a Google Earth image showing it looks like the core sample is to the left. It looks like a dark hole. It doesn't, I can't tell. You know, I don't have a close up. But find me images like this. Let's go through this deck and let's find this cracking and let's overlay it. And let's see if it starts pointing back towards columns. Uh, if it starts, even cracks like this, they tell you that the it's dipping in this capacity. It's lowering down. That's Bruce. In that capacity it's not coming like this because that would be compression at this point and it wouldn't be open the two tile the tiles would be will be butting each other but if you had this go down like that and I'm going to do exaggeration exaggeration there for you you get the one stable tile and it's exaggeration and this one leaning down you now starting to see the flexing of the deck now I, luck would have it I've taken up hundreds and hundreds of tiles I would dare say thousands um, of tiles in my life and I never get lucky I can't just hit this tile and this tile pops up with it they, they, they just don't do that they, the grout is so the grout when you're putting down a tile it doesn't really, you, you get a little bit of grout transferring, but there's nothing to, to separate the two. There's nothing to bond the two of them together where you get one tile, you get two for free. You take, you're hitting this tile to get this one up, and then you're going to hit this one to get this one up. It's that bad because of the dissection of how you place the tile. There's, no, there's nothing binding the two of them together besides grout. And in this case, our grout is indicating that it's, it's separating, and they did, they did do a lot of butting, butting here. So I would expect some compressive fractures, but I don't see them at this point, this time. His bag, once again, covering the covering over materials. But this this presents as like this. That this would be my flat side, that's bowing, that's bending down. And as this bends down, there's a there's also an upward force. Like that at the bottom. If you go down, you also got a, nothing for free. If you get a tension up here, you're going to get compression at the bottom. And that would give you give us a, a deflection upwards. And this could represent itself in this fracture here. Um, it also could be puncturing fracture. I don't know. I need more images. Remember I talked about puncturing, how it would look like a, how it would look like this, right? You would, uh, okay, so I need to do that. How it would look like, you know, depending on the column shape and how the critical shear area is failing, if at all, you would look like look like that, depending on the loading and all. But if we can get these cracks start coming back to a column or to the or to a uh, the, the the BMA deflecting the composite. Everybody asks that. So it's a composite beam. You know, it's built beam, floor, column. So column, beam, uh, column again, and then flooring on top, probably somewhere like that, looking like that. 
and then this floor and connecting here butting against it possibly something like that um, and then side profile would, would look like this that would be the concrete and then staples up like comes let's call staples like that and I'm taking liberty because I didn't do the shape uh, I should have done it but and then the concrete slab would go on it like that oops I'm going to move that one back maybe you will let me move it back Delete. So something like that. If they made it a control joint, if they did it like that, or it could be fully just a, you know, concrete going fully across it like that, and you would just see it like that with no buddy. So you would you you pick your poison. You pick your poison on this one. This one allows for that deflection right about there. This one would allow for it to break. To break. I'm doing exaggeration. Let's get you a different color. This would allow it to break like that. So, you know, sinking. That'd be like this one here, right here. So, remember we have that sample that looks looks more like grout than concrete. It all the way through. It looks more like a grouted material than concrete. All right. Now, for people to ask me, well, something said something about consolidation or whatever. Grout is a lot more expensive, guys, than concrete. So let's don't don't go down the line. That, oh, they were saving money. Well, grout's more expensive than concrete. Now. Leaving out the stone is cheaper than. Well, you still got to just use sand at that point. So if you come up with the sand and and, and uh, Portland cement mix, you're still leaving. You still you still got to spend the money in the sand. Um, and in some Portland tying it all together. So uh, the concrete is cheaper, but the than than just trying to use it than grout itself. So don't don't go down that track. Now again, I wanted you to track these cracks on me. Where they go? You see that crack is it's, a, it's alignment. Yeah, right about there, and they rolled over the edge. So we will leave the rolled over edge alone, and we'll just continue it straight. And you can see where that's going. That's going back towards the the BMA or the end of the right here or at the column. That's biasly so. It's not supported by any other data. I need more cracks. I need to see the rest of the cracks coming across. This gives me my deflective moment, or at least a tension moment, showing tension to open this up. Could it be shrinkage in the grout? It could be shrinkage in the grout, you know, but I don't see that um, there. Um, but it would have to be shrinkage in the grout initially. Because uh, once, once you get your shrinkage, you're pretty much done down there. I, I would ask you the question, what concrete fails more, uh, sidewalks in Philadelphia or sidewalks in, say, Maine? Well, Philadelphia, because they have more expansion and contraction cycles. And not so much the sidewalk, but the materials below it are heaving, push, heaving the, heaving the uh, sidewalk up and down, expansion and contraction of the sidewalk, of the materials below, the, the soils below. The concrete and the steel are going to expand pretty much about the same. So we're not really cycling that unless we get water introduced and then a freeze cycle so we're not really we're not really worried about that being the uh, issue it's the soil below causing the heaving uh, uh, heaving all right take care guys bye